Belmo delivers the goods. The best bowler on the planet steps up. Jason Belmonte, better known in the bowling world as Belmo, is a star of his chosen profession. There's no one else on this planet that can bowl a ball at 10 pins better than me. And that is a really cool thing to say. And I never knew I'd ever be able to say it. So now that I can, I plan to say it as often as I can. The 34-year-old only turned professional 10 years ago. But in that time, he's earned over a million dollars in prize money. Coming home a winner. In 2013, 2014 and 2015, he was ranked the world's best player. I had this um, want to be the only player to win it four consecutive years uh, in the PBA's history. But he says the pressure he put on himself was too much and in 2016 he came second. By the top player of the world. Only to pick himself up and reclaim the title of world number one last year. In his words, Jason's been smashing pins since he was a toddler. His parents built a bowling alley in the country town of Orange the year he was born. They still own it. We've watched him since he was 18 months old and uh, for a young child to bowl uh, even one game is a, a big effort. So we knew that we probably had something a little bit special. My ambition is probably to be the best bowler in the world and be real rich. Decades on, he's still practicing on the same lanes, honing his game to perfection. What is unusual is his two-handed style. A double hander. It's allowed under the rules, but it's still controversial. When somebody calls me a cheat and I'm within the rules and I'm doing everything the same as everyone else, it bothers me. Can you tell? I've kind of got a little aggressive about it. <laughs> <laughs> Using two hands allows him to get enormous power on his action. With a two-handed style, the swing will be directed straight under your head, over your target, makes it a lot more consistent. Being based in the town of Orange means that going on tour takes him away from his wife and three children for up to four weeks at a time. Usually by about three weeks, I'm like, come on, come home, I need some help with these kids. My patience is running, <laughs> running a bit thin. But yeah, no, it's fine. We're just so used to it. We just make it work. Kimberly runs her own business and is training to be a nurse. Jason has no coach or help staff and often relies on his wife for advice and inspiration. His job is it's such a roller coaster, such an emotional roller coaster of ups and downs, and I guess that's the case with most sportsmen. Um, so, yeah, my hat goes off to him that he can actually really get through that. Safety is one of the many reasons they still live in Orange. Didn't tell Kimberly this, but my last trip to Los Angeles uh, across the road from my hotel was, you know, three gunshots, and then the roads were blocked and. Um, yeah, I know, I I'm didn't want to didn't say that because I knew you'd be a bit worried. <laughs> and, and that's the kind of thing that we don't ever worry about. We don't ever feel. So that is a little bit nerve-wracking. After 17 kids died in the recent massacre at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida, G'day, Jason how reached out to a survivor. Hannah, I'll off? hug you. How are you? Good, how that's are you? Good. He spent the day with 17-year-old Hannah Carbocci a member of the school's bowling team and her family. It was a really lovely thing, obviously, that Jason did to go over there and I also thought, I think we're very lucky to live in Australia. I don't know how I would feel raising my daughter in a country where this happens. After conquering the world with his two-handed style, many other bowlers are now following his lead. Start off one-handed, saw Jason Belmonte doing it, thought, why not give it a go? Here I am a year and a half later, loving it. Yeah, yeah, he inspired you to go two hands then? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. How cool is it to be able to bowl in the same alley that he grew up in? Quite lucky. Very, very lucky. Love it. 
For all his trophies and records, Jason has one moment that sticks with him. This is the uh, AMF Bowling World Cup that I competed in in Johannesburg. And to bring home the cup, listening to um, you know my dad in the crowd cheering for me, he has a very distinct yell. So when that final pin fell and I won, um, even though there were hundreds of people watching, I could still hear his yell out of all of them. Well, every strike I was just cheering him on, and uh, when he got that final strike to win the uh, the World Cup, which no Australian had ever won, uh, it was a very proud day. You had to bend it. One thing is clear. No matter how far Jason Belmonte has to travel to compete, he will always return to his beloved hometown. True. Gumlet. No. Think you can whistle? No. no? I just, I do, I love this place. Um, you know, I grew up here and I've seen a lot of what Orange has to offer. When both of you are really happy in the one spot, there's really no need to look for somewhere else.